Hi, welcome to a very special episode of Chris vs. the World featuring my girlfriend Brittany. Today, uh, we're going to be talking about interracial, inter, interracial relationships. Wrong or very wrong? That's what the title says, Brittany. Okay, so I have a few points and I just want to know what your uh, thoughts are. So, um, I don't want to do this today. <laughs> I don't agree with that. Well, um, okay, so I mean, you, you don't have to agree with the points, but um, I just want to know your thoughts. So I have a few points. Uh, first one is diversity. It's boring. Thoughts? What? You, I, you always trick me. I thought this was going to be a better video. A better video? <laughs> that was going to be nice. It's going to keep going. It's going to get good. Diversity is boring, right? Like, so we walk around, we see all these different colors, different people matching up. Like, you know, they think they're just doing it to be smart. What do you think? No, we need diversity. Okay, why? Because it would be boring if everyone was the same. So you think diversity is the opposite of boring. I think diversity is boring. Alright, uh, my next point is if everybody got in racial, interracial, I can't say this word, if everybody mixed colors, uh, eventually all the children would only be one color. Doesn't that make diversity boring? Well, no, because just because you're interracial doesn't mean you're the same. Well, eventually, if everybody mixed together, wouldn't we all become one thing? No. Therefore, making diversity boring. I think I won that one. No, because just, I think I won it's not one. just black and white. There's other ethnicities out there. Okay, but say, okay, black and white start mixing, and uh, Asian and black, and Asian and white, and then their children and their children, and like 10 generations, 20 generations. It's all the same kids. Alright, we agree to disagree. I want to know your guys' thoughts, though. Uh, but you, you think I made a good point about make diversity actually eventually becoming boring? No. Okay, uh, next one, Brittany. What would Hitler think? About what? This is stupid. Interrelation, interracial relationships. Don't you think he'd be disappointed? Yeah, but you almost fit it. <laughs> fit what he wanted. I almost fit what he wanted. Yeah, because you have blue eyes. I know, but do you think we're letting Hitler down? I don't want to play this game. <laughs> I mean, you could argue that it's a good thing to let Hitler down because he was a bad person. So you see? So you know the truth. You're just trying to be Mr. Funny Guy. I didn't have to say it. You said it for yourself. All right. Uh, next point I have is uh, you end up eating a lot of weird foods. What do you eat that's so weird? I'm just saying. Say, okay, say, um, uh, say a guy from the South started dating uh, a girl from the Philippines. Both of them are going to be exposing each other to foods they've never eaten before. But that's not true. Because yes, because the guy from the South is going to be eating uh, grits and uh, pig intestines, and the girl from the Philippines is going to be eating other things. But you're assuming that. What if he grew up in California? No, I and no. He, he was born He's in the South. He's from the then. South. He's from the South. He was born and raised in the South. Same thing for the Filipino girl. She was born and raised in the Philippines. That doesn't mean they don't like cheeseburgers. They don't know yet. And so they're exposing each other to different foods that they've never had before. And maybe they don't want... Oh, Brittany, you said you wanted music. I forgot to add music to the video. Hold on. Okay, there's music now. So the guy from the south, he is adding... Oh, he's uh, exposing her to hamburgers and... No, like really like pig intestines and, you know, southern things. And then that's good, vice though. versa. So that's, that's good, too. good. And, but, I mean, and it's a nice. lot of stomachs aren't used to that sort of thing. Like, uh, what if uh, he was dating an Indian girl and uh, the Indian girl exposed him to curry for the first time and his stomach Curry's just good. rocks? You know, curry's good. But she, that might that might actually break up the relationship when she oh, finds so out what his guts can do. That means it's not a very solid relationship. What if it's just like a bad first impression? All right, uh, my next point. Um, it like, makes I didn't other. like the, that. That. You don't like it? No, because even though you're dating me, I, you've eaten french fries and cookies and I don't want you to eat weird stuff. And it's still a choice. You don't have to eat what that other ethnicity wants you to eat. So you're saying it's a choice and I don't... It is a choice. But you should try new things. It's good to try new things. Like different colored people. You don't have to like it. Like but you should try. It. But you should try. Okay. Uh, my next point is... It makes other races uncomfortable. <laughs> what? What? And, okay, remember I made a video about uh, comedy should not offend anybody. And part of offending somebody is making somebody uncomfortable, right? Right. So, if uh, we're walking down the street and some old people are looking at us and they're not comfortable, they whisper and they point at us, uh, isn't that our fault? No. Because 
Oh. That's something they need to work on. I know, but we're in their public space. In their you know, 50 years ago, they didn't have to deal with that shit. You don't believe what you're saying right now. <laughs> There's no way you can believe what you're saying. I think. Well, I know you don't, because you're with me. So. Well, okay. Um, I think you've made some good counterpoints. Um, I didn't make any. This video was a big surprise to me. And I, I would prefer to do something more. <laughs> I think Brittany's made some good counterpoints. In fact, I think we should uh, go the opposite way. Uh, homo racial relationships. That's when two people of the same color date. That makes me sick. I hate no, homo racial no, relationships. No. no, now you're going too far. <laughs> no. Nobody should do that. Everyone should be in a heteroracial relationship where you're dating another race until we're all the same race. No. Thoughts, Brittany? I don't agree with what you just said, and you don't agree with what you just said. I don't like this joke anymore, and I don't want to make this video anymore. Okay, so this That's was... That's not what we think. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany wants to make the point clear. Brittany wants to make the point clear that these two different colored people that are sitting in front of you uh, don't believe that nobody should date other race. <laughs> it's as if it wasn't clear enough. Um, so... Uh, this was the first video of many. Uh, I'm going to record some other videos with Brittany uh, this week, and you'll see them in the weeks to come. I don't think I want to make it. But more Brittany videos. might not make it anymore, so they might be like videos of her sleeping. So <laughs> let's see what happens. Uh, she's in a very nice dress today. I don't know if you've noticed. I don't think. She doesn't want to stand up and model it, but uh, we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe for more if you haven't already. Let us know what you think about uh, couples in different race relationships and uh, couples that are in relationships with the same race. What do you think about that? Wrong, right? Wrong, Brittany, right? No. Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.